Hello, hello, and welcome everybody to another tutorial. And this tutorial will go and talk about creating a vellum chain, vellum shape match, and a cloth, and create this nice screen drop with some moving textures or moving text to be more clear. It's done in Houdini 19.5, and hopefully you will like it. And please don't forget to like comment share and join my membership and my patreon so let's go over there so this is the scene file i will put it in my patreon for anybody that's interested but let's go through it and see how it's being created so we have a camera here as usual couple of lights these lights right and left oh, i move my camera Let's remove this lock. Now let's go to the geometry. Go to the first frame. So I started to test by uh, with a box, but initially I have this text that's being extruded, as you can see. Then I transform it to its proper position, a little bit the top. Then by hand I selected some of the top points. Let's add the wire shaded mode as you can see all these will be used as a bin to the chain then I blasted these points after I blast the points I went up and I created ID attribute from the point number as you can see each point has its own point number That is matching one one two two. So after that, I transform these points up. Then I call them a group that is static, and then I merge them together. So if you notice closely, we have here ten and thirty three, fifty five seventy eight. But if you show the ID. Let's do the idea as numbers. ID text in text marker tags. Which one? One second. I forget to activate it here. So thirty three and ten. 33 and 10 so they are matching each one is matching the other one so we add an add node and we add by polygon by group the attribute the attribute is id so we have the lines so here is the lines if we view the points we have one point at the top one point at the bottom which is not enough so connectivity and we sampling so we have more resolution mix expression to choose the top points so they are grouped bin line another mix expression to choose the bottom line then we add the group for the whole lines as a points then we delete the id attribute because it will conflict with the vellum solver then we added a vellum constraint line. It is a string. We are pinning the top one, the bin line. So they are permanent, not moving. And we are exporting the lines which I didn't use. And keep everything by the default. Then it's being backed. So it's backed now. Let's go move to the other side. If you remember, this is our box, and we group it and we call it a box on the primitive. Then another useless none and we don't constrain. And here I choose shape match. I increase the mass so they are heavier than the chain. If there are still lines here, some stiffness, and I said then I back both. 
after that I merge both so as you can see we have both merged now we need to connect this line to its corresponding points so we end back we add another Euler constraint and here we choose now this one here we choose glue yeah geometry bonds is the attached bonds attached lines uh, these lines and where you want to add it and attach it to the box I increase the search and what else I did and I make the rest length zero so they snap so if we view it now they are moving like this why why are they moving there is no wind yes I went inside I added a book force with some amplitude and squarely and a little bit to the top in y axis and this is the movement because this one is heavier than this so it's going to get down Very nice. Also, I kept the sub step uh, uh, up to two and fifty constraint. Okay. So this is the first part of the simulation. They are ticking each other. After that, I added a vellum post process. So I don't need. Post process. No, I didn't use it here. No problem. Anyway, I separated the lines by line, group of lines. This one, this. I added a time shift to the first frame and I used this chain from curve. As you can go here, I took this assembled line. And I add this HDA chain from lines. Let's go on here. I make it bigger. Like this. So they are big. Now they are looking heavier than the Houdini itself. Then I added this point before the first part went to the chain second part went to the time shift the rest position and the third part went to the deforming points coming from here and i'm using piece attribute that we added here if you remember in the connectivity i call it piece that's being transferred to the chain and to the lines so they are matching I view it, please. So this is each one has its own color. So this is packed, so it will not show. And this is the first movement. I give it blue color, and I move to the second part. I keep only. See, delete not selected. I keep the boxes, the text, I give it my nice color, and then I merge them together. And this is the outcome. Go to the other part, I added a spiral node and make it not too long. I added a grid and I sweep them. After the sweep, I extrude it. Also, I can extrude this one directly, but why not? Then I transform it to the top. I moved the top area so they will be pinned. And this is a cloth 
0 added the pin put to the group some wrist length so they shrink a little bit and I make it to run at 50 I added the same force and if we go to frame 50 see they shrink before they drop down after that I time shift the last frame when it's fully extended let me pause till it finish it's about to finish now it's done so this is the last frame a UV project on the Z axis and quick shape Houdini logo added VLAN post process with that much clerk and some subdivision and the dangle then point the four same thing first go to the geometry then the static frame and the deforming points here it is a backdrop I move it in the proper position then I convert it give it some nice color let's have a different color let's go with pink and I merge everything together let's go to the color I choose different color let's say it's my lighting choose the other light wait a second light oh it's freeze anyway I think I save it yet I will share it yeah so thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and share and uh, join my membership and on my Patreon also. Thank you and have a nice day.